Zabbix integrations with webhooks, we've had tons of them. Maybe you're wondering how the development process looks like. How can I vote for a new integration? So let's invite head of the integrations team, Alexander Slarionovs, to talk just about that. Hello, everyone. I'm really happy to be in front of such big and broad audience that we in Zabbix call family and talk about integrating Zabbix with your existing IT solutions. So, but before we do a deep dive, let's refresh our memories a little bit. What are integrations? So integrations are connections between systems and applications that work together as a whole to share information and data. And well, what does it mean for you? It makes your life easier. But what are integrations in Zabbix? Well, we separate them in two main categories. The first one being out of the box templates. This is something you can use to monitor your services, applications, networking equipment, well, anything else that you can monitor, basically. Second type of Zabbix integrations are webhooks, where you can send information from Zabbix to your on-call systems, ticketing systems, messengers, well, anywhere you need to be informed about Zabbix problems, solutions, or just basically status. Um, a lot of you are asking where to find these latest integrations. You can always find the latest integrations in fresh Zabbix installations in 5.0, 5.4, and of course in the upcoming big release of Zabbix 6.0 LTS. In addition to that, always new integrations are published to our website, zabbix.com slash integrations. And if you are a little bit, bit more tech savvy, you can go to gitzabix.com to our official repository and in the font folder templates, you'll find all the integrations there are. But um, talking about integrations, how do they benefit you? Well, if you're a Zabbix user, you can use this integration to optimize your monitoring, easily monitor any third party system that is supported and official Zabbix integrations come with proven quality and support. Well, just make your life easier for faster deploying of your monitoring and, you know, use the out-of-the-box integrations. Uh, but perhaps there's no integration at the moment and you're thinking about it or maybe you're just a vendor thinking about why it is important to have out-of-the-box integrations. Well, of course, if you have one, you can engage Zabbix community and make monitoring great again. Collaborate with us and get recognition from our community. Provide a high quality support by making sure that the integration that is in Zabbix is up to your standards. Well, and of course, improve your public image because who doesn't want to find official uh, integration made by Zabbix with collaboration with specific vendor? Well, so if you didn't find an official integration, there are three options. The first one being you can come to our uh, public Jira, create a Zabbix Next ticket, ask your fellow friends to vote, and if community is interested, we will do our best to implement it. The second option, fast way to your integration. Contact our sales department and they will work out a great deal on how to make sure that Zabbix comes with the integration you need. And the option number three is look for a community template. And this is where it gets tricky. But before we go into the tricky part, um, let's quickly recap how the integrations by Zabbix are made. So, when we are thinking about creating a new integration, we are always prioritizing, taking sure that essential services, community requests, improvement requests to already developed integrations are taken first into the account. Then there are sponsored integrations which you can request by contacting the sales department. After we prioritize our list, we proceed to development. We do research, talk to community experts, create uh, focus groups, and of course we put hard work into the development. After the development comes the validation stage where we do internal reviews, 
We ask our fellow support team, which has outstanding Zabbix experience, to review and find weak spots and proceed with um, improvements. And then we always are asking for community to review our templates and come up with the suggestions. How do you want to shape the integration further? Um, and going back to the community templates. Well, Helen Keller once said, alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. And the capacity of the integration team is, well, I wouldn't say limited, but we are not able to proceed with all integration requests at once. So if you wouldn't find an um, official integration in uh, Zabbix, what would you do? you would go to sharedzabbix.com. But um, we have decided to move on from sharedzabbix.com. And you might ask, hey, but why? It's such a great resource. You could find uh, a lot of great stuff there. Um, there were a couple of issues with sharedzabbix.com. It was hard to navigate, a little bit outdated platform. The templates, once uploaded, were rarely maintained. And the problem was, even if you want to collaborate, it basically means you create a copy of the template and just makes a bigger mess. Um, also, it was lacking some standardization. So if you go from one template to another, uh, it's hard to gauge what kind of quality the template is. And of course, there were zombie templates. Once developed for all the versions, like 1.8, 2.0, never updated, so you download it, and you don't get the best user experience possible. So it has been decided to migrate sharesabix.com to community template repository. Wow, what, what, what's that, you might ask? Well, it's a platform for collaboration, where a lot of people can come and col uh, collaborate on the same template. The templates, once uploaded, can be maintained by the original developer or other community members. We, as Zabbix integration team, would provide feedback and moderation to the templates to ensure that the quality is higher and you're not left with something that nobody cares about. Then there is validation from our side and documentation generation. So you don't need to download the template to see what's inside the template. And you can just basically open up a GitHub page and see what's contained in the particular template. So let's go through the process. It's as easy as one, two, three, four. Four steps. Let's go and discuss them a little bit deeper. So how you can collaborate? You can start discussion on GitHub issues to you know, discuss if the template's working correctly or you have any particular improvements or you think that mm, maybe I need something else. You, know? you can always report a bug uh, or you can overtake the template maintenance and support an old, older integration. You know, it's up to you. And as always, you know, you can develop a new integration and proceed to publishing it and gain recognition from the community and ensure that your work is appreciated. So while not enforcing, we highly recommend to use our template guidelines. They come with naming conventions and allow the end user to understand template more easily. So like multiple templates follow the single approach. You open any template and you quickly understand how it works. Uh, the guidelines come with best practices and simplify your decision making so you don't need to overthink a lot of things. It's a practical and ethical framework for you to discover and play with it, which serves to improve responsibility and accountability. Just uh, follow the QR code to learn more about template guidelines. This is the same template guidelines we use when developing our official Zabbix integration that come out of the box. So when you've decided to make a new integration or change something in the old integration, create a pull request with changes, describe the changes you are proposing, and be ready to participate in discussion why this is important or necessary. We will review the commentary and be there to assist you and ensure smooth process. 
And then comes the validation part. Uh, we've divided the validation into two major parts. First being continuous integration, which will review if the template is valid, can be imported into Zabbix and other neat things. And then us, uh, the Zabbix integration team will uh, step up and help you to make sure that the template is according to standards. The fourth part, I guess that's the happiest part. If the validation is a pass, we will accept the pull request and merge the integration into the repository. Afterwards, we'll generate a readme file so it's easy to understand and navigate the integration. And finally, we will add the template to the main directory. So it's as easy as one, two, three to find the integration. Just go to GitHub page and search for the integration you need and it's there. So that's how the directory will look. It's easy to find whatever you need to find, all separated in the categories familiar for you from sharezabbix.com and majority of good templates will migrate. If you don't find your template in the list, don't worry, you can always come and submit a pull request to us and we'll accept it. And this is how the generated readme file is going to look. All the macros used, items discovered, any template links, additional information is included in this readme. So it really should simplify finding an integration you really need. So the question arises, where can I find the repository? So it's going to be under github.com slabx community templates. The process is as simple as possible to come and contribute your development. All you need is a GitHub account and some time you're willing to spend to work on the integrations. And as always, if you want to report an issue with the template repository or out-of-the-box integrations, feel free to use our public Jira bug tracker. Just go to supportzabbix.com and off you go. If you want to report a bug, open a ZBX ticket. If you want to suggest an improvement, open a ZBX next ticket. And as a community, we're welcome for, to discussions. For that, I can recommend to use our Zabbix forums or our official Telegram channel. Thank you for your attention and we will be really happy to see you participating in community template development. Thank you. Uh, thank you a lot for giving our users more of an insight in how the integration development and general process kind of goes. Um, and we have a couple of questions related to that. So uh, first off, what if some of our users want for Zabbix to get integrated with a specific product? Can they vote for it somewhere? Can they vocalize that wish somewhere? How should they go about it? Yeah, surely we're actively listening to what community wants and for that reason we have a public Jira available. Uh, you can go there, uh, search for the integration you're looking and just put your vote up and we're always reevaluating how much vote each integration re is uh, requested. Uh, alternatively, if you can't find an integration on Jira, you can create a new ticket and ask your fellow friends to vote and then we'll also evaluate. And thirdly, there's an option to contact our sales department and uh, work out a quicker way to get your integration out in the wild. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So a couple, couple of approaches that we can utilize here, yeah, depending on how quickly you need to get it, get it done. Um, next up, where can I see which integrations are currently being developed or maybe are scheduled on the roadmap or something like that? Well, when we evaluate integrations, we usually pick the ones that have majority of votes on uh, Jira. So that's one potential opportunity for you to look at. And secondly, you can go to Zabbix uh, roadmap and see some of the integrations that will be developed for the next release are listed there. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you a lot. So. Now you know, please vote. If it doesn't exist, please create a new ticket and ask your friends or colleagues to vote um, and follow our roadmap. Yeah, thank you a lot. Thank you, thank you.